Susanna Reid ripped into Labour Chancellor Rachel Reeves this morning as she said that her policies are insulting to employers. The Good Morning Britain presenter went on a scathing rant about the Labour MP's latest decisions. She explained that Ms Reeves planned to increase national insurance contributions paid by employers in her upcoming budget. Pulling out a copy of Keir Starmer's Labour manifesto, Susanna said, it says Labour will not increase its taxes on working people which is why we will not increase national insurance, basic, higher or additional rate of income tax or VAT. They do not say we're not going to increase employees' national insurance, they say national insurance. Regular show guest, Andrew Pierce, was also outraged as he repeatedly said, it's a lie. It's a lie, he added. And why are we saying employers are not working people? That is insulting. Susanna agreed, as she added, Yes, especially if you are a small business. Fans at home agreed, with one taking to X, Twitter to write, What about the people who pay employee national insurance and employer national insurance? Like I have too, utter joke. Another raged, Money ring fenced for OAPs for this year's winter fuel payment taken by Reeves to plug black hole labor muddy the water give out misleading info about pension credit, which many won't qualify for. Now they may hike employers' knee. How will that impact the many self-employed? A third said, they have failed to follow through on any of their policies or they have been broken. Chancellor Rachel Reeves is set to give Labour's first budget of the new government on October 30. It is suggested that she could raise capital gains tax on sales of second homes and businesses to as high as 39% at this month's budget, reports have suggested. Speaking to The Guardian, one source said, some very big tax decisions are being left until very late in the day. However, a Treasury spokesman said any reports on specific tax changes was pure speculation. These claims are inaccurate, they said while adding that they did not comment on pure speculation regarding specific tax measures before a budget.